In this video, I'm going to show you adding special effects in a song in one section in Reaper. So the project set up here with some drums, bass, guitars, and a vocal. Let's hear what it sounds like now. But the section I want to focus on in this video is right over here in the pre chorus. Let's zoom in. I want to add a special effect in this section, specifically a flange. Although this process will work with anything a filter EQ, some phasing, any special effect you want to add to a section of your song. Now what we could do is put all our tracks in a folder and affect that. But instead, we can just add an effect to the master track. I'll go up here to view and choose the master track, which we can now see over here. All our tracks are running through, by default, this track, as we can see right here. So if we add any effects to the master track, it's going to affect everything together. Now, if I go to my effects on the master track, we could see I already have effects on there, but that's okay. I'll add one to the beginning of the effects chain. Let's double click over here. I'll type in flange, and I'm going to choose the flanger right here. This one comes with Reaper, so I know you have it. Double click it. And again, we'll put it right at the beginning of the effects chain, right here. Now we have a flange on the entire song. Let's put the dry mix up to zero. And I'm going to change the length of the delay to be two milliseconds and the rate to be 0.5, which is the speed of the flange. I'll bring the feedback up to about minus six and the wet mix to about minus nine. Let's hear what it sounds like now. That sounds pretty good to me, but we only want to put it on in certain sections. So we need to automate this effect. And we could do that by automating the bypass like this. Let's bring this down to here. Let's right click on the envelopes on the master track and switch it to touch mode. So now anything we touch in here is going to create an envelope to automate. So we can just hit the bypass button and that creates this envelope. Let's make it a bit bigger, like this. We'll start off with it off and automate it as we play it. So now the flange is only on during these two sections. But I'm noticing as it turns on and off, sometimes I hear some clicking. So instead, we could automate the wet dry knob. So it'll sound more gradual as the effect fades in and out. So let's delete this envelope and automate the wet dry knob instead. Turn this on. We could just grab it and bring it down to zero and then automate it while it plays.
that sounds a lot better as it fades in and out instead of turning on and off. Let's zoom in to see it better. Now we could also draw it in if we prefer. Let's clear this. Let's keep the envelope. And we could draw it in by hand. Let's turn on our grid and snapping. Put a point right here by holding down the shift key. Put another point over here, hold the shift key and drag it all the way up. And we can turn it off right here. Hit the shift key to create two points. Drag this down. And do that in each section. And right over here, let's move over. I want to bring this up so you can hear it in the fill. So we'll start right here, bring it up, and bring it down after here. So we'll flange that fill in the beginning of the chorus and then fade it down. And it'll sound like this. And again, the effect fades out in the chorus. And we can do this in any section we want it, but by using the wet dry knob, the transition can be more gradual, as the bypass button could give us some clicks or pops. So the wet and dry button tends to work better. So that's pretty much it. That's adding special effects in one section of a song in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo boys, let's go. Oh!